Do you mean in blunt terms that the continuing existence of this presidency is a threat to the national security of the United States? Do you think the president is that kind of a threat? I think there's a culmination of things we can point to in the public record now. Um, and it's a painful, anguishing thing to acknowledge that the president of the United States is a clear and present danger to the national security <laughs> of the United States. The Trump presidency is a national emergency, and it is up to us, both parties, to treat the Trump presidency as a national emergency. Caravan, open borders. These are literally white supremacist phrases that have worked their way through the system and somehow landed in the talking points coming out of the West Wing. We have a white nationalist president who's a threat to American democracy, and regardless of party or, or policy views, you should put country over party first. Like, forget Donald Trump for a moment and just think about the symbol of that red hat. When I see the Make America Great Again hat now, Chris, I am triggered. I'm so triggered. This Make America Great Again hat is just as maddening and frustrating and triggering for me to look at as a KKK hood. To me, I think the Democrats' position should be Trump is holding this country hostage. You don't deal with terrorists. <laughs> yeah. This should be our great unifying moment, right? This is the moment when space aliens land with ray guns and are threatening all of us and we all band together like you see in the movies. <laughs> he is clearly trying to ignite a civil war in this country. He has not tamped down race. We are gonna have, uh, we are in it right now. It might be the last stage of a civil war. The last battle is being fought. You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. We know that walls do not save lives. Walls end lives. You know, would you, if you could, would you take the wall down now, here? Yes. Like you have a wall. Absolutely. Knock it down. I'd take the wall and down. And do you think the city, you think if, this, if there's a referendum here in this city, that would pass? I do. But with this president, on a daily basis, he just, he makes it up. He, he, he lies. The president of the United States is a fraud and a con man. <laughs> and the fraud and the con is on us, the American people. I think that, uh, that address probably should have come with a, a Surgeon General's warning. It was hazardous to the truth. Uh, he can be beaten, and I hope he will be beaten, or else it's the end of uh, democracy as we know it. I mean, we're going to find out. If, uh, you know, if the big gamble is to go all the way to November 2020, which I agree, and lose, it's the end of democracy. <laughs> That's not going to happen, and I don't think this country could uh, survive another four years of a president like this who gets up every day uh, trying to find new and inventive ways to divide us. Here are 18 reasons Trump could be a Russian asset. This is like something out of the Manchurian Candidate totally. or the Americans. I mean, this is the realm of spy fiction becoming reality. It would have seemed bonkers until Trump, but it's not bonkers anymore. <laughs> Listen, uh, I, I am beginning to feel as though I am on the set of the Manchurian Candidate. I don't know anybody who got anything wrong. We didn't say that there was conspiracy. We said that Mueller was investigating conspiracy. <laughs>